Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use the assisted camera calibration application included with Booth CV. What this application will do is ensure that the images you collect for camera calibration are geometrically diverse, spatially diverse, and in focus. Um, you need all three of these for good camera calibration. So the first thing you do is follow the instructions above and hold up your calibration target. I'm using a chessboard pattern, but Booth CV supports several different types. The next step is to clear all the dots as I'm showing you. Now note, as I'm clearing the dots, I'm holding at different angles each time. This is done to ensure geometric diversity. And what that meter up there is actually showing you is how much uh, geometric diversity you have. It's doing it specifically by solving a linear equation and seeing um, if it is solvable. If it's not solvable, then you don't have enough geometric diversity. The other meter, which you see getting filled up, is showing you if you have removed all the dots. Also note that there's a little arrow. That's guiding you to the next closest dot, and uh, when you get close to a dot, it turns red, as you can see. Okay, so that's the last one. Now, see these little tinted regions? That's showing you where you've gone. The application only forces you to get the edges, but it's also a good idea to get the center also and try to get as much of the image as reasonably possible. What's going on when you see it, um, the dots turn red and eventually green, is that it's making sure you're holding it still by looking at um, how sharp the image is. That is done using um, the image you collected when you held it up in the beginning, and it computes a um, pretty much a metric based on the edge intensity or the difference between it. And that's what that little bar over here, here, I mean, is showing you. And you can see when there's a really blurred image, the bar is really large, which shows you that there's a lot of air. And when you're holding it still, it's actually collecting a bunch of images and it'll take maybe the last 10 or so, and it'll pick the one that has the best focus score. So now that we've collected enough images, the screen is originally, um, reasonably tinted, we can click the finish button. So what you've seen, seen now is the results of our calibration. This is used to kind of give you an idea of how accurate we did and how good of a job. So for each of the images, it shows you the sequence of um, calibration points. Those are the numbers, as well as an air. If you want to make it easier to see the air, you can increase its scale and see how big the circles got. So that's about 100 times as large as they actually are. Up in the top left where it says mean air and max air, that's showing the mean air across all the points in the image and the largest air. In this case, the largest air is about a tenth of a pixel, which is pretty good. And below that, it shows you a few of the intrinsic camera parameters. So XC, YC um, is the center point or um, focal point. Fo um, yeah, the center point. FX, FY is the focal length. And skew in this case was configured so that it would be assumed to be zero. Now there's a few things you can do here. You can hide the numbers. You can hide the errors and you can also hide the calibration points. But what you might want to see is all the calibration points, which are now all the blue points you can see on the screen. That gives you an idea if you did a good job collecting a diverse of the points across the whole um, field of view of the camera. If it was highly skewed towards one side, then you would get poor results. So that's pretty much it for now. Uh, thanks for watching.